What is just a placebo effect but most people don't realize? Beats headphones have weights inside them to make them heavier and give the illusion of quality and sturdiness. I'm not sure if it still does this, but at one time Google Docs intercepted the Control Plus S shortcut and briefly changes the cursor to the thinking, cursor, hourglass, beach ball, whatever your computer does. You don't need to save your Google Docs. They save every tiny change on the server, but people are used to doing it. I install commercial audio video systems. On bigger, more involved jobs like stadiums and arenas, we have AV consultants who don't work for my company but are a big link in the chain, as far as designing and EQing the finished system. I don't know how many times I've been up in an 80 boom lift and they want the azimuth or down angle of a speaker adjusted by some ridiculously small amount. So you get back up there, bang a couple wrenches on the speaker, and don't actually move shit. How's that? Oh yeah? That sounds better. Works every goddamn time. There's actually a story like that when Michelangelo was carving the statue of David. Whoever he was making the statue for stopped by and said the nose was too big. But it only appeared that way because he was looking at it from directly beneath. So Michelangelo went up and pretended to carve it down and dropped some previously carved shavings to save arguing. The original Febreze, an odor eliminator, was unscented, but nobody believed it worked so they added scent to it. Which makes me so mad. I despise every stinking fragrance on the market and just want things to not smell. If I want jeans to not smell like but I don't want to spray them with wet grass smell or whatever, give me an odorless product. There aren't enough of them. How long it takes a Coinstar to process and count coins and return a receipt. It finishes quickly. So quickly that folks are skeptical of the accuracy. So a fake delay, with fake counting noises, was built in giving folks more confidence in the results. A lot of scans do this as well. Not virus scans, those just take a damn long time. But sites that show you the best deals are often done in a hundred milliseconds. They're not really doing anything that intensive. Just make a few requests to AutoTrader or whoever, which probably only returns 15 cars, and sort by lowest price. But people wouldn't believe it was the best price if it came back instantly. They wouldn't think it looked hard enough. So they make them wait a little. When my cat wants fresh food, but he still has some in his bowl, I pretend to put more in there. He usually falls for it. Does the bowl have high sides? Eating out of bowls instead of flat plates can sometimes cause issues with their whiskers touching the side and being overstimulated, since they're quite sensitive. Indeed it does. Try a flat plate. He might complain less. What you're interpreting as, Please food slave give me more food, might actually be, Please food slave fix that thing where my whiskers feel weird when I try to eat this delicious chicken. The exaggerated sounds of some vacuum cleaners, microwaves and cars to make them sound powerful. The loading screens on some apps that make it seem like they are doing something complex. I once spoke to a guy involved in developing the first ATMs. Early trials showed that users thought that the dispensing of cash happened too fast and didn't trust that it had correctly debited their account for the right amount. So they inserted a wait cycle to make it appear that the machine was counting the cash. That wait cycle is still there today in most machines. As an IT person, giving a user a new monitor will make them swear their computer is faster. Here's the other side of that coin users who hate change. I recently rolled out new systems for a client. A few days later I asked one of the workers if she liked her new super fast computer. She replied, actually it's slower. She went from a second gen i3, 2 gigabytes RAM, and 1 terabyte 5400 RPM to a Ryzen 5, 16 gigabytes RAM. 250 gigabytes envy me. Sure, Karen, sure. Increase the mouse pointer speed. Airport security. Homeland Security's own inspectors were able to get illegal items through TSA checkpoints 70% of the time. But they'll be damned if you think you're gonna get away with taking that water bottle or travel sized bottle of lube on the plane, sir. That minty fresh, zesty clean feeling you get from toothpaste. It started as a marketing strategy and caught on, and now almost all toothpaste is mint because we associate the minty freshness with cleanliness. Also the whole foaming thing doesn't do anything. It's the sodium lauryl sulfate that's in the toothpaste. 
I use Sensodyne because I'm allergic to it, and this toothpaste doesn't have it. When cake mixes first came out you only had to add water to them, but too many housewives felt like that was cheating and wouldn't buy cake mixes. So the cake mix companies added another step. The eggs. It worked. Apparently the cracking and adding of the eggs to the batter was enough to make it feel more homemade, and cake mixes became extremely popular. Now I'm mad. I have probably three cake mixes in my pantry right now that I keep using up all my eggs before getting to make. If it wasn't for those housewives I would have had cake by now. Unbelievable. As a former lifeguard, I can assure you that whatever cleanup you see lifeguards doing after someone vomits in the pool is almost certainly just show. There isn't really anything you can do. You just let the filter slash chlorine take care of it and pretend to clean to please the suburban moms. I remember some kid shit in the pool and they closed it down for the remainder of the day. Is it different for shit? Or same story? Just come back tomorrow and it'll be clean and do nothing. Aquatics facility operator here. For vomit, mostly it's just water that comes up because someone decided to drink the pool instead of play in it. We scoop out any chunks and clear the pool for 20 minutes to let the chlorine and other chemicals that are automatically fed into the pool do their job to kill any bacteria. For poop, we have to shock the water with more chlorine to be sure all toxins in the fecal matter is killed. Once we put the shock in the pool, the water has a super high chlorine level. After mere minutes everything is dead, but we have to keep the pool closed for 4 to 12 hours, depends on how much shock we had to use more for runny shits and less for solids, because that much chlorine will irritate skin. The airplane that mommy feeds you. I don't think it's really an airplane. Do commission creative stuff. If I deliver same or next day, people don't think I spent enough time on it. If I wait three days to drive her, people are happy because they assume I worked on their project nonstop even though I was done a day or two prior. People don't just do this with creative stuff if it makes you feel better. We did the same thing when I did tax returns. A return might be done 15 minutes after the person left the office, but we'd wait one to two days before calling them to let them know it was ready. People need to feel like a little more time was spent on something to justify the price. I think it's because they don't think of it as paying for a person's experience slash education slash artistic talent. They think of it as just paying for a person's time. I swear my car performs better immediately after it's cleaned. Dislikes on YT comments. I never understood that. The numbers don't even go down. The numbers don't but the comment moves further down in the list. If you go to a neutral comment, dislike it and then refresh, it'll be significantly lower down. That makes me feel better. My dog's medicine coming out of his treat tin instead of medicine packaging. Makes a seconds ago disgusting medicine taste mysteriously treat-like. I just tell him to his face that it's a treat when it is clearly a pill covered in peanut butter. Loading spinners on web pages. I once had a user complain to me a web app was too slow, and it was pretty fast. So I tested him by making the animation spinner spin much faster. He went to my boss to praise me how much faster the web app was. Spin.js is what I was using. Not even a spinner but we added a message after. Loading. That said, nearly there when it got to the next step, and we got significantly fewer slow loading complaints. You're not acting like an insane person because you ate sugar. Yep, even for kids. They aren't acting wild because they ate sugar. They're acting wild because A. You told them that's what happens when they eat sugar. B. Most of the time they have an opportunity to eat a bunch of sugar it's while doing something fun and exciting, birthday party, trick or treating, etc. C. Parents will often try to preemptively control their kids' outbursts, making them rebel against them and act crazy. I remember Super Nanny doing a test on this in a documentary. She threw a kid's party, gave half the kids sugary snacks and half healthy snacks, and the parents had to guess what their kid was given. Almost all of them were wrong. Turkey doesn't have enough tryptophan to make you sleepy. You're most likely sleepy because you ate too much, and your body's in. Rest and digest. Mode. Edit. It's a placebo when you eat a meal that includes turkey and say you're tired but eat a meal of the same calories and conditions with chicken instead and you don't feel tired. It's conditioned into American culture because of overeating at American Thanksgiving. 
That free shipping is a better deal. It generally means they've added the cost into the product instead, but you feel like you've gotten a better deal. When I was a waitress 100 years ago, my customers asked me all the time to turn the heat up slash down because they were too hot slash cold. I'd be like, oh yeah, definitely. Let me go take care of that for you. Then I would go stand in the back, drink some water, and then head back to the table and tell them I'd adjusted the temperature. It worked every single time. Not sure if it's really placebo, but there is research done on how a car door should sound when you close it. A flat and boring, pank, sound would do just fine but a lot of people find that soft, plush and yet firm. Schrumpf, sound reassures them the door is closed. Someone please do a better job here describing car doors closing because mine sucks. My friend's husband is a sound engineer. I don't know if that's the right word for this exact thing. His entire job is making sure that the car stuff sounds right. Fancy bottled water. When I work slash train tech support, our agents would always get pushback from customers when we asked them to power or cycle their phone, which nine times out of ten would fix their issue. So, I had them tell the customer to read them some numbers off the back of the battery, when they were still removable, that we absolutely did not need. Then we told them we refreshed a few systems, and they put their battery back in and it's all fixed. Alternatively, when batteries couldn't be removed, we'd tell them that if the phone was powered on while we did the update, it could ruin their SIM card. So they'd make sure to power off their phone. I'd do nothing. They'd turn it back on and it worked great. But if I had told them to power cycle their phones? No way. What is just a placebo effect but most people don't realize? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.